Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome to my channel Forum Creation. Today I will teach you a very very special photo manipulation that you can see on the screen. Uh, if I will, if I will show you, this is before and uh, this is after. Okay, this is before and this is after. So let's see how to get this type of work in Photoshop CC. So firstly, take your image in Photoshop CC and uh, you can see this is my image and this is my layer palette and this is my second image. So I will fit this pencil on to this hand. So um, now we have this uh, magic wand tool. Click on there and you have selected white area and hit delete on the keyboard. Now this is my selection. Okay. Uh, now Control T to transform it so that we can fit it on this way. So make it small. Something like this. Mm, okay, that's fine. All right and uh, click on mask and I will make a mask so that we can hide the extra area of this Okay, that's fine. And uh, press T100 and uh, hide this. Okay, here my aim is to to hide this portion. Okay. Now choose this uh, mm, clone stamp tool and uh, take a selection and select this layer. Alt and take selection and very nice control Z Okay, that's fine. Okay, so this is my image and I will copy this area from this and I will merge it to this. So for this uh, directly select it and control J edit transform So that's fine and make a mask on there. Ok, 
okay that's fine and select this layer mm, take this stamp tool and right make a new layer and uh, choose this stem tool and click all so this is my portion on this carpet layer so again take a selection okay that's fine okay active this pencil and I will delete some portion from uh, this pencil And uh, take a copy of this portion, Control J and uh, Control D. Now I have this mask, and I will hide all the pencil. So you want this small pencil again? Click on this layer. okay now we are ready with the image so this is the image and uh, make a another layer by pressing ctrl shift alt e now you will get uh, this copy now again ctrl j okay now go to filter we have this uh, camera raw mm, i will control highlights i want to control exposure clarity I want to boost something uh, light maybe now click on ok control J again we have this ok now set its plan mode color dodge and control I to invert it now go to filter blur then Gaussian blur we have this pencil shade we have this pencil shade like very nice pencil shade okay okay I think this is the best value for this okay now I will make it black and white again go to image adjustment and then we have this black and white okay so firstly I think we have to merge all these layers by pressing ctrl shift alt e then again go to image then black and white now we have this black and white image now I will hide all these two layers now make a mask on there uh, by pressing alt and click on mask we have this black mask on there okay now now we have uh, I will choose this brush and brush I will choose something like uh, uh, 46 now choose this mask and uh, I want white Control Z and apply this brush on there so that we can get like this controls it ok 
okay now we have this layer and uh, select this layer go to this adjustment layer then we will make a level adjustment to it I want gray tone so firstly uh, clip this level to this image uh, this layer only I want something like this mm, if you want to okay that's fine mm, okay now make another layer and uh, if you when if you want to do uh, work on this layer so directly select this layer and uh, go to this brush tool and uh, select this hard brush and uh, adjust its uh, hardness to around 72 and uh, make it zoom control Z I want uh, like something like this and I think increase its hardness so that we can get very hard edges of this pencil like shade I want to make the shade of this pencil control Z okay I want uh, this fake shade fake pencil shade this lips So I want something like this. Okay, as you can see here. So this is with the pencil. So I will show you uh, before and after. So this is before 
and uh, this is after so after that uh, merge all layers by pressing ctrl shift alt e now we have uh, so another make a copy by pressing ctrl j now go to filter we have this uh, nick software then color effects now in color effects i will apply detail extractor to it so that we can get very nice more details on this image now this is detail extractor uh, see this is before and after mm. before and after okay now click on okay now this is the final image we got so thank you friends keep watching iron's creation